Okay, so we are going to go through a simple guide to reading food labels. Now I'm going to break this down to parts and this will be part one and we're going to be looking at ingredients, which is my favorite thing to look at and the one thing that I really always recommend people look at first out of anything you're going to look at. This is the thing that you that you want to know. So got to work out how to get to the next slide on this thing. There we go. Okay, just how simple is it? Reading fruit labels can really seem daunting and I've been there, don't worry, but it's really not difficult when you know what you're looking at. Now, I have a quite a good reference here, which comes from Eat for Health, uh, which is a government website, and they break it down beautifully. So I've got here a screenshot. I've also popped the link down the bottom. Now, this is your nutritional information and your ingredients. So today we are going to be looking at ingredients, which I've circled down the bottom, but we will go to a bigger screen in a minute. Um, and that is, again, I'm trying to work out how to change the page. Here we go, ingredients list. So I'm sure this looks familiar to you whenever you've bought something packaged it should have an ingredients list on there. Um, and you'll notice here, this one's quite a good example here because you can see cereals, it has 76%. So the very first thing that is always listed is the highest quantity. And then it goes down from there. So vitamins in this, this, this example is the least amount of ingredients. So that is the main thing that you want to be looking at. And I'm going to go through a few examples in a moment as well um, with two different products, the same type of product, but two different ingredient lists and, and how we can look at getting the better option. Okay, so oh, the other thing here is use this to check the first three ingredients for items that are high in saturated fat, sodium, salt, or added sugar. So if you get a product that number one is sugar, we go, that's high in sugar because it's the first one on the list, which means it's the greatest amount. Okay. So if it was last on the list here, okay, there's not so much. Hopefully they tell you how much is in there, which if you actually come back to that panel um, before, I don't know how to go back. Oh, I do know how to go back. There you go. <laughs> that you can see sugars there as well. Okay. But we're going to talk about that in a, another part. Okay. So we go on, oh, so the important thing to look at is the ingredient list. Um, this tells us exactly what the product is made of, exactly what is in it. So two examples I've got here are oat milk. Um, you could do this for all types of milks. You could do this for soy, almond, everything, but I've just chosen oat as an example. So here we've got the ingredients. Now I know this is a bit blurry. I couldn't really get a good high resolution screenshot. Um, so we look at Australians own Brister Oat. Now, one thing that you can probably tell straight away is the amount of ingredients that are in each of these. So we've got the Australians own, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ingredients in there. Then we have our pure harvest. We've got one, two, three, three ingredients. So there's a big difference, right? <laughs> it's a huge difference. So out of the two, we go, hmm, okay, well, this has got less in it. Yes, of course, we're going to look at what three ingredients are there, but we can kind of go with, hmm, that might be the better option here. There's less gums, there's less, less additives. It's pretty simple. Yeah, we do have a, a bit of, of the sunflower oil. Um, which that's going to be higher in things like your omega-6s versus your omega-3s, which is fine, okay, but we seem to get more omega-6s in our diet where we should have more omega-3s in our diet. So it's still good to get omega-6s, but we want more omega-3s. So just bearing that in mind as for this example. So for me, I'd be going for pure harvest because there's less in there. I can go, okay, yep, filtered water. Oh, sorry, that's four ingredients. Why didn't I see filtered water? Filtered water is number one. That means it's the most. Um, then we've got organic whole oats, 15%. Um, on our Australia own, we've got Australian water and oat flour, 10%. Could be a bit of a difference there. Um, and then you've got your sunflower oil and sea salt, whereas the other one, I'm not even going to try and say half of those names, but there's a lot more in there. 
So let's jump over to my next example. And don't worry, this is not going to go for too long. I've only got the two examples here. Um, oat and nut bars. I'm going for an oat theme today. I don't know why. <laughs> so we've got Nature Valley Crunchy Oats and Honey. And we've got Nut Delight Oat Slice. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Let's see what's in there. If oh, There we go. It worked. This one's a little bit better. So Nature's Valley, we've got whole grain rolled oats. We've got 59%, and that's obviously our highest amount. Sugar, hmm. that's just added sugar. That's not naturally occurring sugar. I'm gonna show you an example of naturally occurring sugar in a moment. Sunflower oil, honey. We're gonna get some naturally occurring sugar there in our honey. Salt, molasses, emulsifier, rising agent, bicarb. Okay, so not terrible, but we look at sugar and that's, that's the second ingredient. So and it doesn't well it will tell us if we look at the other if we look at the um the sugars on the in uh, the nutritional profile but there's probably a fair amount of sugar in there if we're going that's the second ingredient and honey's the fourth ingredient okay then we go over to nut delight well we've got organic oats okay yeah there's there's less but that could just be that type of product um, but then we've also got wholemeal wheat flour. So that might be bulking that up a bit more. Um, organically produced honey. So our sweetener here is honey. Uh, so yes, we're going to get sugars in this, but it's more naturally occurring sugars. Um, we've got organic coconut. Probably going to get some sugars from that as well. Uh, Salt-free butter, cream and water. Nuts. Um, we've got 10% nuts. Um, almonds, cashews, pistachio, and baking soda. So yes, there are a few similar ingredients there. Um, but again, well, we can look at these two and go, which is the better? Which is the better one? Of course, if you're allergic to nuts, well, we're going to probably <laughs> avoid the second option. <laughs> but we can still look for something else. Um, so yeah, we go. Okay, well, maybe that nut delight is is our better option here because it doesn't have that added sugar in it. It's got naturally occurring sugar, a few less ingredients. Um, looks like a relatively good option um, when we compare the two. So that's just a couple of examples um, of what we can look at. Now, I've also got some questions that you can ask yourself next time you're at the supermarket and you're having a look at which nut bar that you wanna buy. Not sure, I'm just gonna stand here and peruse because we're in lockdown, so we're gonna spend as much time at the supermarket as we can or, or not. <laughs> so products, so questions uh, you can ask yourself when you're having a look at the products. So is there something that has a simpler list of ingredients? So something that's a bit more simple. Now, when I showed you that oat milk, well, that was a good example of that. Now, yes, there are more factors that we need to look into. Like if, you know, if you've got four ingredients and the first one's sugar, we go, mm, well, maybe it's not so good. Um, but in that example that I showed you uh, with the oat milks, well, that was the better of the options. So simpler ingredients and we can, we can look at those ingredients. Go, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's actually not too bad. Okay. Are the sugars added or naturally occurring sugars? So again, that example that I gave just before with the nut bars, we have one that we had added sugars in because it said sugar. It was there in black and white. Um, and then our other example had organic honey. So organic honey, it's going to be a naturally occurring sugar. Now, if you're not happy with the ingredients, is there an alternative that you can purchase or that you can make yourself? So have a look at some different options. You know, you've always got plenty of options at the supermarket. If you go into Coles and Woolies, there's lots of different things to choose from. You can also go and have a look in the health section as well. There'll often be some different alternatives there. There is some health products in the health section that I still don't think are great. Um, but when it comes to uh, celiac disease and, and food intolerances and things like that can be definitely helpful. Um, or make it yourself. I posted a recipe a few weeks ago on making your own mayonnaise. Um, we'd been making, we'd been buying our own mayo and um, adding in some chili and spice and stuff into it to make it like a spicy mayo. And we go, hold on a second, 
can we just make this ourselves? And we know what we're putting into it and we're reducing the ingredients in terms of we're not adding um, any types of um, at food additives and things like that to preserve it. Um, then we go, okay, well, once a week, let's make some mayo, easy done. Um, I mean, we don't eat that much mayo, it's just an example. <laughs> Just things like that that you can that you can make yourself, or you know, is it easy to make yourself? Like oat milk is another example. A lot of people do make their own oat milk or almond milk. If you have the time, or if you want to experiment with it, play around with it, give it a go because you can control what is going into your food. So that's part one. Um, I'm going to do part two soon. Uh, if you have any questions please ask me like I'm always happy to help. If you want to send me a screenshot of something or a picture of something at the supermarket, you go, dang it, what is this? Tell me. Um, then yeah, I'd absolutely love to help you. If you have any questions, let me know. You can pop it under this video or send me a message and I will talk to you soon. Bye.